Welcome back all you pilots out there. This is Nix1978 coming with you with another video and this time we're going to do it on the Frogfoot, the close air support behemoth, the Sukhoi 25T. The first part of this video is just going to be basically a lot of uh, different sorties, a little action, just a lot of stuff going on, just visually pleasing. But uh, the last half of the video is going to be a very interesting sortie I did uh, on the Burning Sky server, which is a really interesting server. It's blue versus red. Uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of regular people that go on there. And uh, it's kind of like Enigma's Cold War server, where you're just gaining and losing ground back and forth trying to take all the land. And it's really fun. And it's really enjoyable. And it's not overcrowded to where it just uncontrollably lags all the time that you get your normal DCS lag but it's not as bad as some of the other servers and for all the people out there that think uh, the frog foots just garbage or it's just not good or it's not useful because it's the free aircraft that comes with DCS trust me that's not the case it is difficult to fly it does take it, it's got a, an extensive learning curve but all planes have the exact same extensive learning curve I mean some things feel easier than others but everything's got a learning curve and once you've flown it for a while it's like second nature and you can do a lot with a frog foot you're not going to be dog fighting everybody but you the close air capability of this aircraft is probably the second best one you can fly because it also has a great seed capability it's anti-radiation anti-rad loadouts are quite useful the only thing I prefer over this one for close air support, of course, is the A-10 because, hey, I'm an A-10 pilot. But here we go. Let's get started. authorized. Launch authorized.
Launch authorized. Launch authorized. Launch authorized. Launch authorized. And here we go. We're getting ready to start our Burning Skies uh, sortie. Now the mission is that I've got to take off at one airport and fly all the way over to another airport and then refit and then head out to strike the targets. So this is a two-part mission to get there. And it's it was very fun, very realistic. And this is one of the cool things that is so good with DCS, especially if you have flight experience in, in real life and stuff, is you can do these kinds of missions that are, you know, I couldn't just take off from the airport that I had to go to. So I had to take off from deeper in our own territory and, and fly all the way to this other airport and then land, refit for the actual mission, and then f go out and take out those targets, which is the way it would work in real life for the most part. So let's see how we do. And cruising along, I get an AWACS call that there is an enemy bomber. I believe it was a Tu-22 enemy bomber going deep into our territory. They were trying to sneak around the backside to bomb one of our play our ports. So, comes to me to take care of it because I was already in route into the uh, my forward base. So we got tasked to we uh, got tasked over to take care of this bomber before it could drop its payload on our tar on our bases. And so we did that. And there you go. Splash one enemy bomber. And back to our original mission. We've got to get to that airport so we can land and refuel and get refitted and go to action. And of course the Frogfoot definitely takes a little while to get used to landing. It is kind of a big heavy beast. You just got to remember to be easy with the controls. Small movements, small movements. Always checking your uh, descent rate and you'll get the hang of it after a while. Piece of cake. Now we're going to do a multi-role uh, loadout here.
because the, where we're going, we don't know exactly what's there, but we know there's probably going to be some SAMs and there's probably going to be some armor. So we're going to take the ELENT pod down the center line. That way we can see and track radiation signals. So enemy radars that are looking at us, we can lock onto them. And then we're going to take two large anti-rads and then we're going to take two uh, Vicar pods, which are the eight missile uh, air to ground missiles. They're the one of the best things you can have because you get 16 shots and then we're gonna finish off our loadout with two more smaller anti-rads and we're gonna take our ECM modules and then we're going to take two uh, Archer heaters just in case because they don't weigh much always take a couple heaters like that's why I took on that first flight if I didn't have those two heaters I wouldn't have been able to take out that bomber near as easily I would have had to try to gun them so now we'll take back off and we will egress over to our target and see what we got to do. And as we see, uh, coming up to the target, I wasn't really getting any r radar signals, and it was because they were on the other side of this little hill in the front of this town. And that's going to happen all the time. It's never going to be right where you wish it was, and nothing's ever going to be easy. So I had to come around to the left and take my time, and then break back around to the right. And then we'll see as we come up and around, there was definitely enemy radar there, and they were definitely trying to lock me up. So here we go. Time to get to work and take care of business.
And I fell for everyone. Everybody does this. If you do it too, don't worry about it. Everybody does it. But I got greedy. I got way too close trying to get one more shot off because I was doing so well. And there we go. I just took a gigantic flak hit. Like point blank range. It shredded me. Destroyed most of my systems. I thought I was done right there. But I was able to drop everything I got. Get the weight off this thing. It's heavy enough all by itself. So I dumped everything and tried to assess the situation. I can tell that I've do I've still got lift. I've still got some power. I tech checked my throttles. I checked I was losing hides. My hydraulics were all a little bouncy. But I didn't lose them all, so I still had some control. So I figured, well, as long as it's gonna keep flying, but then I noticed it's on fire. Uh, that's bad. So I uh did what I could to uh extinguish the flames. And as soon as I got these flames out, it was just a matter of getting home. And you guys are going to take that journey with me. I'm going to go ahead and shut up so you can watch it, but here we go.
So that was a heck of a frog foot uh, mission. Um, it was it it was a lot longer, of course, than the video, but cut out all the boring parts of me just flying from point to point. But that was a lot of fun doing that mission. It was my own mission that I set up. You know, this target was causing problems with the pilots flying over that area, so I made it my mission to take that frog foot, fly it over there, re rearm, and fly back out there and and get it done. And I did get the SAMs done and I got a whole lot of the armor done and everybody on the server will appreciate that stuff so the Frogfoot is a great airplane and it can be very useful it just takes time like every other plane so thanks for hanging out subscribe come out to a twitch stream and hang out with me and talk if you want to or fly with me or whatever you want to do come on and hang out I'll see you there